Turkey hunting to me has always been a family tradition. I was very fortunate when I was learning to turkey hunt. I had a great teacher, my dad, and I owe pretty much every accomplishment I've made in the turkey woods to him. A lot of you guys know that I have a nine-year-old little girl. So when she come up to me before this past turkey season and asked me if I would help her get her first bird, I was just tore to pieces. And I made it a personal goal and mission to get her her first bird this season. Turkey Hunter is brought to you by Browning, the best there is. Well, opening day of the Tennessee season was gonna be dedicated to Bella. We was gonna to try to get her her first bird. And let me tell you, a lot of work went into this. Dad and I have been leasing this piece of ground for a long, long time. And we decided we wanted to put a food plot in and that it would be a great place for, you know, her to kill her first bird. So that's what we did. We cut out a piece of ground on this power line and, and planted a clover food plot. And sure enough, you know, we got Browning trail cameras out and there's gobblers hitting it from left and right every direction. We go put a blind up and I decided that's gonna be the easiest way for her to do it. She's still kind of small and she's shooting a big gun. So a blind's gonna be about the easiest thing for her. This is gonna be her first turkey hunt toting the shotgun. So we're excited. We got a long walk. We're gonna get the truck loaded up, get the decoys ready, shotgun ready. And uh, hopefully we have some success this morning. Well, as the morning goes on, we don't have any players. You know, we hear birds gobble periodically, but then again, it's early season, you know. A lot of these birds are hinned up and they're still flocked up. About nine o'clock, I just start calling. And right in front of us, it was very surprising because a bird hits at my call right there 100 yards inside the woods. Well, this bird, gobbles at my call six or eight times, he just will not come out into the food plot. And I just, I was scratching my head. I'm like, why, why, why isn't he coming out? You know, there's no, been no pressure on these birds. I couldn't figure it out, but sometimes that's just turkey hunting. You, you ain't never gonna figure it all out. <laughs> well, the bird finally works up his nerve to come out and it's not just one gobbler, it's two gobblers. They kind of circle our decoy spread to the right, go back to the left, and they never really get in range. And uh, I don't know what the deal was. I don't know if they could, if the blind was just lit up like a Christmas tree, I don't know. But they wasn't gonna close the distance. So Bella was kind of upset and so was I, but it's opening day and we still got plenty of time. Turkey Hunter is also brought to you by Indian Creek Shooting Systems. Midwest Turkey Call Supply, Replica Decoy Company, Apex Ammunition, Strut No More Turkey Totes, Knight's Hunting Products, and Browning Trail Cameras. Well, the next day, the weather was very nice. It was nice and cool, it wasn't hot, and Bella looked at me, she said, Daddy, can we go turkey hunting? I said, yes, we can. Well, guys, we're going turkey hunting, aren't we? Yep. 
We had a bad experience last time. The turkeys didn't want to come to the decoys, and that's just turkey hunting sometimes. We'll get in there just as the shade's starting to hit our backs and cast out in front of us. We're going to put the decoys out, and hopefully we get to shoot a turkey this afternoon. What do you think? Yep. It's a beautiful day. Turkey season's open. It ain't slow. Coronavirus ain't slowing us down. We're going to get in there, and we're going to get after them. So come on. This particular food plot on this piece of property is a pretty good hike back in there. It's about two miles. And so I decided to load the four-wheeler up and drive us to as close as we could so she wouldn't have to walk and tote all this stuff. I got camera, I got, I got all kinds of stuff. Guns, decoys, everything. Well, Bella and I slip out to the food plot. I set the decoys up. We get in the blind, get all positioned up. and I get the ceramic out, and I just yelp really loud, there's a slight breeze, and nothing, nothing hits at it, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, normal that time of year. Five minutes goes by, and I look to the right up the power line by the pond, and a gobbler has stepped out, and he's starting to ease down the power line right to us. Well, this bird is slow rolling down this lane to the food plot. He gets to the food plot and he kind of puts on the brakes. He, he's, he just, at 100 yards, he just doesn't want to come any closer. He's just back and forth, hung up, typical, you know, hung up gobbler stuff. And I, I don't know what else to do, but just kind of wait him out. He's not freaked out. He's just strutting back and forth.
Well, this goes on for about 45 minutes, and he comes to a point where he's almost at about 70, 80 yards. And I'm like, man, this, this might happen, you know? And then he turns around to wheel off and, and go the other way, and I'm like, I, I gotta do something here. So I grab the ceramic, and I start purring on it in soft yelping. And for some reason, I don't know what it was, I guess it was just what he wanted to hear, he wheels around, and he comes right up to the decoy. Well, this bird finally makes it to about 30 yards, and he's right in behind the decoy spread. I can see he's not gonna come up there and whoop the decoy, but he's close enough to kill. I know that browning will do it. Bella's propped up on her field pod. She, she's got him in the red dot, and I just tell her to keep following him, keep following him on his, on his waddles, his bubbles is what she calls them. And I say, just squeeze that trigger. And she squeezes the trigger and makes a perfect shot. That's your first turkey. We were so patient. <laughs> you did it, baby. You <laughs> got him. You got him. This is what you gotta use. That's what you gotta use right there. <laughs> hey, did it work? Did it work? Let's FaceTime Paul. Hey, he, he's piled up out there a little past Richard. She, hey, he ain't even flopped. Uh, that's, all, that's awesome. <laughs> I'll talk to you. All right, she got him. She got him. She hung in there and she she was a trooper and she she made it happen. I just uh, there's been a lot of highs and a lot of cool stuff happened in my life, but this right here is top notch. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You did so good. You did so good, baby. What you got out there? A turkey. Yeah. <laughs> Bella, he's a good good turkey. Look at the spurs. You got a giant. Look at that. You have killed a slob. You have killed a giant turkey. You don't know, that's a four-year-old turkey, baby. And he's got two beards. <laughs> Look at that bird. He's huge. 
That's a giant. And he's got two beards. He's got two beards and he has dang near an inch and a half spurs. I couldn't be more proud of this girl right here. She's, she's been a trooper. We come in here and we set Richard up in the RDC feeder and uh, called once and I just looked to the right up there by the pond and he walks out. Mm -hmm. And he slow rolls all the way to us. And I thought to myself there for a minute, I'm like, this isn't gonna happen. Cause he kind of hung up and I started yelping real, real soft and purring. And when I did that, he, he, came. he did. He come right up in behind the decoy here, stopped at about 30. And I told her to put it on his head and let him have it. And she did. She shot a 12 gauge Browning Max that she shot my gun. And uh, which is very impressive with a two and three quarter apex and smoked him. And I couldn't be more proud of you. Your first gobbler, you're nine years old and he is a hammer. Congratulations, baby doll. This is one of the proudest moments of my life. I couldn't be more happy for you. You are officially a turkey hunter. <laughs> well guys, I've seen a bunch of turkeys die, but this has to be the most special. It's one I'll never forget. And the coolest part about it is we have it documented. We get to put it on Turkey Hunter TV and we'll have a memory that will last a lifetime. <laughs>